we're gonna take a Mako 204cc for a spin, a very capable 20-foot center console offshore fishing boat. And we're lucky because it's equipped with the brand new 225 horsepower Mercury V6. The 204cc might be the second smallest offshore boat in Mako's lineup, but is well equipped for multi-species fishing with multiple gunnel rod holders and under gunnel rod racks. Now here's something Mako just gets. These boats are used for multiple purposes. So you've got two large bow seats for some ride comfort when underway, but also they're completely covered in non-skid, so they act as an excellent casting platform. There is a dedicated anchor locker forward, and under each bow seat is a 75-liter insulated storage box for packing ice. The deck hatch lifts on a stainless steel strut to reveal a huge 117-liter storage compartment. Not only are all compartments finished, but they each have water-resistant gaskets to help keep seawater out. And notice the hardware? All stainless. Under the console seat, we find the bait well, which is just under 80 liters. The helm is well-equipped with analog gauges, binnacle-mounted controls, and easy access for future upgrades. The new leaning post features a pivoting backrest and secures a 68-liter cooler below, which we made regular use of. As we headed out, I'm reminded of how special the Florida Keys are. The scenery is colorful and the destinations are limitless, not to mention the weather. At its heart, this is an offshore fishing boat, but as you can see by the layout, it can easily be used as a day boat in a family runabout. My first impression right away is just how solid feeling these Makos are. The entire hull and deck is chemically bonded, but then they also use stainless fasteners and screws to make sure the whole thing's welded together, basically. What an amazing little hull for a 20-foot boat, so planted and solid. Now, mind you, this is an offshore boat, and we're sitting in the channel right now, so it's not that rough. But you can see just how fun it is to turn. Now I know why they need straps for the cooler. So the base engine's the 150, but I'll tell you what, this new two and a quarter V6 is impressive. And I think that's the engine. It's worth the money. Smooth, quiet, and just stunningly powerful. So impressive is the throttle response on these new Mercs. And when you hit it, it's instantaneous. 